Hi and welcome. In this section, we'll go through the steps to build a chat app. We'll learn how to create the mock-up UI for app look and feel. Implement Google sign-in for login. Use Cloud File Store to hold chat messages. Add file-based storage to house images. And build and release for publishing iOS apps. In this video, we'll create the mock-up UI for app look and feel. In the previous video, we created an app to capture selfies and share them to social media. Some friends have responded to the post and want to get in touch. Therefore, we're going to have to create a chat app. In this video, we're going to create the mock-up UI, which will include creating a widget to represent the message box, creating a list to hold the messages, and implementing a widget to compose a message and send images. And at the end of the video, the application mockup UI will look like this. We'll create a new project for the chat app. Tidy up the main file. And I'll have the home call a chat screen widget that we'll create later. And set the title to coffee chat. Now we'll create a model for the message data. I'll call this class record. And it's going to take a number of properties which will include a name, the avatar URL, photo URL, and the message text itself. Now we'll create a constructor that will initialize the properties from a map. Now we'll create a widget to represent each message. And we'll create a property for the mockup of messages. And create an instance of the record class using our snapshot property. Now add a row to our container. And the first item in the row will be the avatar image. And so for that image, we're just going to include the first letter of the name. And the second item in the row will be the actual message that will get composed. Now we'll create a widget that will contain a list of the chat message widgets. And we'll create a property for our list of maps. And replace the container with the list view builder. For the item builder, we will return the chat messages. Set up the item count. We want the latest messages to show up at the top, so we'll set reverse to true. And I will add some padding. And our list view builder will need to be wrapped inside a flexible widget. Now we'll create a stateful widget for composing the messages. We will need to add the ticket provider state mixin to the state class and create a property for our text editing controller. And we'll also set up a flag just to tell us whether or not we're composing a message. Now we'll create a method to respond to the message that will have been submitted. Now inside the container, we will add a row. 
In the first item inside our message composition box will be an actual icon. And next to the icon, we're going to add the actual text field itself to enter the message. And when a message gets submitted, we can just call our handled submitted method. And for the controller, we'll call our text editing controller. And we'll also do a check to see if we've actually entered any message data. And we'll also provide a hint. And at the end of our composition box, we'll add the send button. And we'll only send a message if there's text in the message box. And we do need to wrap our text field inside a flexible widget. Now we'll create a widget for our main chat screen. And create an empty list just to load our messages into. And replace the container with a scaffold widget. And set up the app bar. And for the body, we will provide a column which will contain our chat list and text composer widget. I'll also put a divider between the chat list and the text composer. And finally, add the text composer widget. Now go into our main file. And we will need to import the library for the chat screen widget. Now go back to the chat screen. And inside our chat list, we do need to pass in our dummy snapshot data, just so it has some data just to initialize the chat list widget. Now I just want to check out the UI, so I'm going to run mine on the iOS simulator just to see what it looks like. And here's the UI here. I just want to add a little bit of theming to the text composer widget just so we can see that clearer. I'll wrap the container inside an icon theme. And wrap the icon theme inside the container just so I can set a box decoration theme color of card color. Now we'll do a hot reload. And now it's easier to see our text composer box. Now we want to enter some messages and have them display on the screen. So first we're going to add a callback property to our text composer widget. And inside our handle submitted widget, we'll call the send callback. Now go into the chat screen widget. And I will need to create a method that's going to get passed into our text composer widget. And I'll enter some data into our dummy snapshot list. For the name, I'll hard code in my name. And I'll set no values for the avatar URL or the photo URL. And for the text, I'll provide it with the text that would have been called back from the text composer widget. Now pass our send message callback into our text composer. Now do a hot reload and see if we can start loading messages onto the screen. And as you can see, we have added messages but we do require a little bit of theming to our chat message widget, so we'll do that now. I add a vertical margin to our container. Do a hot reload. Add a box around our message text. Add some padding to our text. Add alignment for the row. And add a little bit of space between the circle avatar and the message itself. And let's just add another message slightly longer. And I'm happy with the mock-up UI where it is now. But let's just run this in the Android emulator just to see what it looks like. And I'll just add a couple of messages as before. And as you can see, it behaves in a very similar way to the iOS application. And this completes the mock-up for our UI.
In this video, we learned how to use a convenience class to model the message data. Create a mockup of messages using a list of maps. And capture text using the text editing controller.